Aua! Later that night. So, 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 so it turns out this, this, this isn't Mr. Oliver after all, but rather some, some other guy called, called Louis. How could we have been so blind? And, 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 and I suppose that fuselage we saw must have been the remains of uh, Oliver and Louis' ship. It, it, it seems that huge monster really did a number on it, though. It, uh, uh, Farrowd! Is that all you think about? Didn't we just feed you? Ah, oh, it's great to be reunited with my rubber ducky. With him by my side, I feel like I can achieve anything. This isn't an outrage. Uh, um, is, is, is anyone listening to me? Uh, me admitting to my categorical failures? Louis doesn't have a cosmic drive key. We need to find out where the real Mr. Rollimar is. Now that is an outrage. So, day 17, and if you're allergic to the plane of existence between Annabelle and Philip, then you may suffer from anaphylaxis. Hello everyone, I am tessellating hexagons, and to people who legitimately have allergies, I apologise for that joke. There's a formidable oak, we're not going there today. That's the end of the game, I'm not going there. <laughs> if what this Louis character says is true, then th 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 that's where we'll find the real Mr. Oliver. We'll finally be able to get our cosmic drive key back. Ock crew, let's get down to business, let's move. But not there. We're gonna go to the distant tundra instead. Uh, yes, so, uh, look, we have six fruit there, there are 16 fruits there. We have work to do with a capital W. So, tundra, because we've not been there the longest. Like, everywhere else we've been recently, this is the least recent place we've visited. So, of course, the whole place is fresh in my memory. I do remember, however, that there are electric fucks here, and I'm going to take no chances, bring an entire squad of a hundred yellows, because enemies respawn. I did the maths, by which I mean I did the research, it takes three days for uh, enemies to respawn, apparently. So... I'm going to kill this bearded Ambrat, and I believe there's another one just around the way as well. Would, yeah, instead of having a little funeral pyre, would you mind someone grabbing the body? Okay. Because... There are general things in the general vicinity that I would like to attend to, and I feel as though these angry hamsters are going to get into the w going to get into the way. And because you're immune to electricity, you don't even need to pop a pimple. I mean, it's true, you don't need to pop a pimple. <laughs> Where is this train for going? I'm just going to supervise these to make sure that they dig up their thieves. And I'll supervise them on their return journey, and then we can actually get the day started. Now, I'm quietly confident that there's a... Can you not, sir? While I scream my voice into oblivion. <clears throat> but I'm, I'm fairly sure... He, he says, doing my mother's impersonation of a drunk voice. I'm fairly sure that uh, there's... um. I seem to recall there being a lime encased in crystal inside one of the caves, so that's going to be part of what I'm doing today. Uh, as well as, obviously, giving the yellows some yellow with which to yellow. And hopefully no one else got squirted on the way back, because that would just be most unpleasante. Unpleasante. Okay, so those are all in. We could put Jarl back. Now, what I'm thinking is, I know what to expect today, and I'm not really sure what sort of numbers we're going to need. So... I would say half a squad of rocks, and then I think 20 wings and 30 blues, or maybe 25 and 25. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm gonna go with this. And as that's happening, if you all would like to, because I've learned my lesson now, stay close to the onion until they've all spawned, otherwise you'll have an unfantastic time. So I'm going to send Alf off with the rocks, I'm gonna send them into the cave if I may. And while he's going, I'll have the pretty one and the angry one take the pretty ones and the dance crew into the moisture. Because, well actually, before we even do that, take... You know what, Pinks? You do that. I don't even give a damn. Right, before anything else, take out these ones. They've caused me too many havoxes. Like, there's just... There's, there's a whole pond full of bad times going on here. So we need to deal with those. Oh, and there's a, a bamboo gate over there, so I was correct after all. But actually... What I'm doing over here isn't even... Okay. Good for you, Alf. You're in the right place. Actually, while we're here... Just... Friends, just take these corpses, because, honestly, you can never have... Mm, I was going to say you can never have not enough blues, but... 
You can never have too many of any colour, even though it's not even the blues that are hurting at the moment. Like, there are many colours that, that need assistance, and blue is not one of them. I, I want to make a Blue's Clues joke, and that sort of... We lost some friends to the Avocado children. I'm affronted. Right, so... Oh good, the entire squad is... going. Well, fine, I can live with that. We well, you know what? I'll just come over here with Alf. Rox, you have a fantastic time with that. I don't even care what colour it is. Break open the crystal! That is a kiwi fruit. That is not a lime at all. Where did I get lime from? Well, I mean, if I was joking, I would say, Oh, from a tick because lime disease. <laughs> Diseases are funny. Okay. And you know what? Why not? Since we're here, I just came to kick it, but really I would rather be at home by myself, not in this room with people who don't even care about my well-being. I don't ask, don't ask, I don't need a boyfriend, so you can go back. Please enjoy your party. I'll be here. Uh, that was a thing that happened. There's a path up there, which I kind of want to take, but... Why do the rocks bounce so far when you tell them to fuck away? Ah, uh, now nah, you changed colour. Okay, so I'm just going to supervise the rocks in this general vicinity, and in due course I'll send them back. But for the moment, uh, blue team, who are literally a team of blues, come with me and you'll be in a world of pure fornication. Please don't. <laughs> Right, so what I want to do is have, I, I guess, have some friends holding open the bamboo gate. And also have some others tearing down that dirt wall to the other side of- Pigs! Pigs, please! Why can't I throw you? Because you're out of the water, I suppose. Well, fine. How about you all just latch on, then? I, I, I was going to say, I, I do hope that you're not drowning over there. Now, while that's happening, you go over there, and... Yeah, there's, there's just, there's a lemon over there. Okay, right, Charlie, go and grab the rocks, and then head into the cave where Alf is. Which I guess isn't the most efficient use of time, but I never said I was a good player. Hey, we got a fruit today, so we've already won as far as I'm concerned. Should I be worried that we only have 29 rocks on my person? Well, they're not back at base, so... And they don't appear to have died, as far as I'm aware, so I'm guessing the rest are just sort of bumbling around at the speed of sound inside this cave. Now, I'm not entirely sure of- oh, right, they're just in Alf's squad. There's still three missing. And you're not over there? Good. But I could get some of them onto these pellets that are existing, but no, we, we have other- Okay, you're over here. You're just having a party. Now, I'm just going to stand by this ledge, and can I throw Alf up there? I can. Well, this changes not very much, but I'm going to give him all of the rocks, and then hopefully that dirt wall will be broken by the time I get back around. But, uh, I'm going somewhere that connects to the other side of the here. Right, you just have a fantastic time there. Good blues, you're done. And, uh, we can start work on this lemon. Oh good, they do reach. I was slightly concerned. Okay, you're all on that. That's fine, you have a fantastic time with that non-pumpkin. That non-pumpkin. I mean, is that an inaccurate description in any way? Okay, you're all on me. That's seven... Uh, okay, yeah. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> don't whistle the pigs just yet, because... No, don't, don't, don't go through this... Where... Stop that! Come through. All of you. Join the party. Come Okay. So, the reason why I'm making these preparations is... You come over here, and there's a load of eggs, and it's kind of obviously a little bit of a trap. So, we're here. He's here. He's here. Let's go and have a party. Let's have ourselves a time. I'm just going to push this rock pick bin. But look, there's nothing here. Except there is. <laughs> Hi. Hello there. It's a... I, mean, I haven't killed one of these before, so what better time to start than now? I appreciate the warning that there was one here, and that I was likely to run into it today if I bumbled around the way I was expected to. Now, as I recall with this, it works kind of like the one that I didn't kill in Tropical Wilds yet, except instead of moving back and forth between two arenas, it moves back and forth between the land and the seas. Uh, and by seas, I mean the water. So, uh, friends, maybe you should abandon sheep. Abandon sheep? I mean, it does appear to have stopped, but I don't trust it to stay stopped, so... Rock friends, get over here before you go poopoo. Before you go poopoo. 
Th there's another rock somewhere, and I don't know where it is. Hope it's not gonna drown. Anyway, all of y'all can just charge onto it because... Okay, I feel like... Yeah, the, the, the pigs aren't gonna do much good because it's still covered in hair. Oh good, it's just gonna step on my blues. It's a good thing that I got some more numbers up for them. Well, whatever. Okay, we've lost seven. That's frustrating. But hey, I got a potion, so it's fine. Okay. Can I do this a bit better, please? Because pigs are surprisingly useless at this juncture, in any case. Oh, is it coming back on land? Can you, can you come back on land, please? So I can kill you with the ones who can't be crushed? Because I would appreciate not losing Pikmin to crush damage. Because I hate crush damage in any game, to be brutally honest. Oh, good. Most of my crew are pigs who are completely useless at this point in time. Oh, there's something blue glowing in the water. It was a Pikmin, surprisingly enough. I think, possibly, you may be able to throw Pikmin directly onto the ball, but I... I don't know. I don't trust my legs, and by my legs I mean my Pikmin. So, you, Charlie's just out there, you know. <laughs> just good to check in every now and then. You know, just checking in, just sending a postcard, but... Yeah. Really, I should lock them onto the leg that's already exposed and charge them up with a potion and... I don't know, there, there are so many ways I could be doing this more efficiently than I am. Go! Not onto the egg, you fools! Onto the enemy! Lock onto it! Go! Except... Wow! That was a very professional squad of, of rocks just here that just got sat upon. Now, can you make it be a bit less hairy so we can actually do some damagio? Like Joe Dimaggio, except it's damage. Go, my children. I keep forgetting to apply potion. Well, it's fine. I need to grind it up somehow anyway. You don't gain potions by using potions. There's a blue! There are some blues in there for some reason. Fine, I just... I think I just got stood on. Well, that's fine, too. It's an alternative way of living life. Go! <laughs> Step on it, except don't step on- don't be stepped on. Oh good! It's doing a bald. B bald because it's- it's bald, and it's a ball! I'm funny! No, don't separate! I- oh, lock on, you numpkin! <laughs> and I'm still not using any potions, because I'm just good at life. There we go. It's dead. I think someone else got sat on. Well, whatever. Okay, that's fine. Anyone else here need a bit of Nectavius pick me uppery Because we've got plenty to go around. And Rock come back, we're gonna have the pinks handle this. So honestly, that's like nine tenths of what I wanted to do today. You're gonna go back that way, that's fine. And... Yeah, I mean, there are some other... There are some fluke weeds here, but... Really? Really, Stavros, you're letting the side down. What I'm going to do is split everyone up and take Brittany and this squad of blues. Specifically that- Why are you doing the Benny Hill routine over there? Oh, good. Well, that's fine. So, I've got the cave covered. And oh, fuck out the door. <laughs> okay, fine. We won't go the quick way. Just, there's- there's a Sharon fruit that I'd like to acquire. I think it's a Sharon fruit anyway. And... Right, does... Flower yourself up one single Stavros. It, it would really suck to lose a Pikmin who just happened to trip over a... Hang on, I'm gonna check the map while we're here. We're not leaving anyone behind. That's good. Hopefully the five that are currently in danger are just... The eleven that are currently in danger are uh, in screen transitions and or just on the way back. There's... Oh yeah, there, there's some there carrying that half of the star fruit. So, yeah, the other six are just in the screen transition. The screen transition. I can English, I promise. Okay, so now, while that's going on, I need to give you a hot second to disapparate. And then... You pinks. You blues. And... You snooze, you blues. Oh, good! A snitching swoop lord. Except that's not what it's called at all. Oh, there's just... There's just a wall here. Thank you, this is exactly what I was hoping to happen. You stupid pinks, just get on the wall! Why do you need me to tell you to get on the wall as opposed to... Why? Why? You damned fools, why? It'd be quicker to just go around. Good lord. 
Okay, Alfie, just get the rocks to safety. <laughs> My Merry Christmas. And then you're just having a time over here. Well, you know what? Since you're all over here being useless, I'm going to go onto the other side of that wall. Except, nope, there's not enough time. Never mind. Hey, well, it's fine. I need to come here at least one more day anyway. So I'm not that concerned. And I'm going to have like 20 reds just so I can get the pellets while we're here. And since they're not in a hole, I could call the other Pikmin back with no trouble whatsoever. Grab the pellets and bring them back to me, children. Bring me my babies. Okay. So you all go back in there. And... Come on, hurry up and sprout so I can pluck you. Right. You all, back in the squad. Back in the squad. You've let me down. You've failed to take down a wall. I'm sad. But okay, there we go. Honestly? That didn't go as poorly as I feared it may have done. So we finally got that crystal in the cave that's been taunting me for I don't know how many days. We took down one of those long legs at last, which I'm surprised that wasn't localized. They, they localized Wally Hop, but not shaggy long legs. You know, shag, 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 fuck around, have sex with, engage with, intercourse with in a vulgar manner, long legs. Y you see my point? Oh, those are some hideous lips. Um, so we beat a boss that I've not beaten elsewhere, which is still on my list of things to do. There's still quite a, a bit of fruit that we're missing here, including the one that I was going for at the last minute there and completely flubbed up. And, well, whatever. We got fruit. That's our objective at the moment. Hee <laughs> new fruit. Great. Mmm. A disguised delicacy because it's fuzzy on the outside and fruit-like on the inside. Don't try eating it whole, though. Brittany. I mean, that wasn't an accurate description, but... Maybe we should put someone else in charge of describing the fruit people. Oh, do fuck off, Charlie, darling. I'm only halfway through today's list of achievements. We have a face wrinkler. What a glorious thing it does when you bite in and the sourness dribbles down your chin. That's it, Brittany. Just stop. Just go to bed and just stop outraging me, okay? Sh shall I stop, by the way? Because <laughs> I'm having too much of a fun time here. I'm gonna stellar extrusion. This is an enrage because I'm okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just realized that the gamepad is showing my... Oh. It's showing the list of fruits that I have. I'm holding it up, you can't even see it. 40 out of 66. Phew, we've gathered a lot of fruit on this planet. It should be enough to save a lot of copites. Brittany, I told you to go to bed. Oh, Charlie, you're no fun. Let me play with your stellar extrusion, Brittany. Okay, fine. I, I, I feel like I may be a little bit too young to, for, to witness any of this. Our portions are even smaller now that we have to share with that Hogatantian. Especially the captain's portion for sending me to bed so early. Brittany, I can still hear you. These spacesuits literally have built-in intercoms. Oh, poo. But but this is great. We, we, we have our juice buffer back, right? I'm not reprehensible, right? I swear, if I tell you to go to bed again, you're probably going to deliver the daily report. I'm just in my own little world at this point. Huh. I feel like we should have more of most colours than we do. Eh. Whatever. We're doing fine. I'm doing good. Please validate my existence. Sure enough. <laughs> Careful observation of the blue pigment has revealed that they have the ability to swim as well as attack in the water. The way they open their mouths make them look like they're laughing. It's very cute, but in actual fact, I think that this laughter is the pigment using their gills to breathe underwater, and that's no fun. Okay, I think I actually will go to bed now. Signed... Brittany, mmm. I apologize for that. I've been able to continue to be tessellating hexagons and uh, more Pikmin another time. See you then.